Yeah, what's going on, y'all? Thank you for coming to my channel. My name is Wally, and you are now tuning into Playboy Hustlers TV. Part of me, I've been gone. I've been on the money run. Young nigga full of sauce. I don't really trust the law. I don't really trust the law. See, I be running through these streets. A lot of wicked shit I saw. Little nigga knock it off. In this world, I want it all. In this world, I want it all. You don't really want to smoke. No, you don't really want to smoke. Giuseppe's involved when I walk. We are back with some more current events, baby. Look, listen. This right here got to do with Eminem sending a cease and desist letter to Vivek Ramaswamy. Vivek was out there rapping in one of his songs in a campaign trail. Eminem is not happy with that. Candace Owens about to explain it, all right? So for those who are just tuning in, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's go, baby. So what happened was Vivek Ramaswamy was on the campaign trail and he jumped up on stage and started singing a couple of lines from the Eminem song because he likes the Eminem song. Here's a look at what Vivek did. Take a listen. Time's up, over, plow, snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity, oh, there goes gravity. Choke, he's so mad, but he won't. Yo, he's wildin' though. I mean, this could be cool had he reached out to him, you understand me? I believe he would have reached out to him. Something, they could have worked something out, but I guess he don't want to make it look like he's picking a side. You understand what I'm saying? You know you know how things go. The media's going to blast him. Things could get real tricky out here, but hey, I see what Vivek trying to do. But I really don't like when politicians, I really don't like when politicians try to use hip-hop music. Like, there's better things you could use, you understand, to connect with the youth. <laughs> yo, he's up there literally rapping his verses, yo. I honestly can't show you anything else for the rest of the day that could be more harmless than that. A couple of kids around him recording. He's trying to get out, get the youth vote by showing, actually, I love Eminem's music too. We just, you just could never imagine a million years that Eminem would take this seriously and call his mommy. Well, not his mommy. We know he hates his mommy. He threatens to kill his mommy and Kim and music because he's hard, hardcore. But this, this really shook Eminem to his core. He could not deal with this. Mm -mm. I'm going to kill my mommy and Kim. But this, Vivek Ramaswamy, man, I'm going to call my lawyer. He actually sent Vivek Ramaswamy, he actually spent money, called his lawyer, and said, wah. Said Eminem sends Vivek Ramaswamy a cease and desist letter demanding he stop rapping his music on the campaign trail. Hey. Listen, at the end of the day, that man need his money too, so he wasn't reached out, man. So I can understand where he's coming from, from an artist standpoint, you understand me? And at the same time, what if he wasn't with that party? You get what I mean? So it's like, it's kind of, it's tricky, you get me? And him a cease and desist and demand that he stop rapping his music on the campaign trail. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the real copy of the cease and desist. It says... This letter serves as a notice to you pursuant to BMI a music license for political entities or organizations that BMI has received a communication from Marshall B. Mathers III, professionally known as Eminem, objecting to the Vivek Ramaswamy campaign's use of Eminem's musical compositions, quote, the Eminem works, and requesting that BMI remove all Eminem works from the agreement. agreement. Mm. So there it is. He goes on a little further. It is signed, Vivek, you've been warned. You are now in a rap battle with oh so hard Eminem, who, as I said, used to sing songs about how he wanted to murder Kim. I mean, I, I, I don't think he was going 100 percent, but I could see where she's coming from. I mean, hey, he's not here to debate it is how it looks on the surface. Right. So I can understand where both parties are coming from his baby mama and put her in the back of a trunk. He hasn't really dated anyone since Kim, also leaves a really big question mark. So what's he up to? He's paying attention to politics to see if there are Yale grads that know his music and he's become offended by it. So I don't know, what should Vivek do? Well, what would the guy in Mean Girls do? Take a listen. Oh, you suck the MCs, ain't got nothing. <laughs> Yeah, she's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's supposed to be Vivek. That's funny. She got jokes. And I ain't going front. Vivek right now is going hard, yo. Like, he is 
attacking people. He got everybody on their feet because he's working so much. You get me? Door. That's it, everybody. That is why I'm bringing you the news. Uh, it's a more question. Is Eminem gay? I don't know. But I. Nah, man. I highly doubt that. I do know that if you call your lawyer crying because somebody is rapping your song on stage and that somebody is a Vivek Ramaswamy, yeah, you ain't hard, is all I'm saying. I'm not afraid of Eminem. Give me all the smoke, Eminem. Send me a cease and desist. I wrapped a couple of your lyrics today on the show. Nah, man, it's not like that. Don't do that. Hey, come on, Candace. Why you gonna go there? Don't do that to the boy, man. Nah, but listen, at the end of the day, I think this got to do with payola. You know what I mean? And it's a far reach. You get me? So with that being said, yo, you let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think he should have sent that letter? Or do you think Vivek should have at least reached out to him and it could have worked something out? Let me know in the comments, all right? Thank you for coming. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget, hit that notification bell, baby. Love.